Hey everybody, Mr. Mathlog here. This lesson is called Ordered Pairs. This should go pretty fast, you guys. This is uh, lesson 9-2, and don't forget, all your lessons can be found at mrmathlog.com. I'm sure you've heard that before, huh? There's our uh, common course strand, and our uh, question is, how can we identify and plot points on a coordinate plane? Okay, so what is a coordinate plane? Okay, that's what this graph is right here. So locating a point on this coordinate grid right here is similar to describing north, south, west, and east. You remember north is going up, south is down, west is to the left, and east is to the right right here. Well, we're going to use that to describe um, uh, our coordinate plane. And then when you get into geometry in high school, it's called coordinate geometry. Anyway, so the horizontal number line down here, it's the horizontal number line is what goes to the right down here. It's called the x-axis, okay? So this is x equal 1, x equal 2, x equal 3, 4, all the way up to 10. It keeps going. That's what this arrow for is uh, right here. And then the vertical line is the up, the up uh, line right here. This is called the y-axis, okay? So here's y equals 1, y equals 2, y equals 3, and 4, and, all, and so on. So we can plot some points on here. So each point on the coordinate grid can be described by what's called an ordered pair. Here we have the ordered pair down here, x comma y. Now, ordered pairs always come in alphabetical order. So x comes before y in the alphabet. Sometimes um, uh, when you get in higher math, uh, they, they are different letters like a comma b. Or when you get into uh, high school, it's uh, in Algebra 2, it's called H comma K, and H comes before K in the alphabet. Ordered pairs are always in alphabetical order, okay? So this one's called the X coordinate for the X axis, and this one's called the Y coordinate for the Y axis right here. Okay, the X coordinate uh, is the first number in the ordered pair and is on the, uh, the, is the horizontal location or the distance from the point zero right here, okay? And then the Y coordinate is always our second number, okay? And it's the vertical location, uh, the vertical distance from zero in the Y direction. And this is called the origin right here. So where it's uh, the X is zero and the Y is zero is called the origin. Now later, we're gonna have, this is called quadrant one later, and then over here we'll have quadrant two where we start dealing with some negatives, and then we'll have quadrant three and then quadrant four. But for now, we're just gonna be dealing with this quadrant right here. So don't worry about the word quadrant. This is enough information that we'll be doing right here. Okay, so write an ordered pair for the locations of the arena and the aquarium. Okay, let's first focus on the arena. So locate the point we wanna write an ordered pair. Okay, so look at the X axis across the bottom right here. Okay, notice I, I highlighted that in, in real dashed pink line right here. Okay, so how far did we go to to the right. We went one, two, three to the right. So that is our first number. Okay. And then from there, we look at how far we went up. So that will be our second number. So how much did we go to the right is our first number. How much did we go up is our second number. So we went three comma two. That would be the ordered pair of that three comma two. Okay. All right. So the ordered pair for the aquarium. Okay. So we always start at the origin. We always go to the right first. We do our X number first. So we go to the right nine. Okay, so you can see I put a, a blue dotted line right there. So we went to the right nine. And how much did we have to go up? We had to go up four. So the other uh, part is nine, four. Okay, remember your X is always first. How much we went to the right and the Y is how much we went up. Okay, so the ordered pair for the aquarium is at nine, four. Okay, so we're going to use this graph here. A point uh, uh, on a coordinate grid can be labeled with either an ordered pair a letter or both. In this part, we're going to choose both of them. So we're going to plot the point 5, 7 and label it J. So this is how much we go to the right. This is how much we go up. So we're going to go to the right 5 and up 7 right there, okay? Plot our point and we're going to label it point J as the ordered pair 5, 7. Okay, easy, huh? All right, let's try that again, you guys. Let's plot the point eight zero and label that S, okay? So this means we're gonna go to the right eight and up zero. So, okay, so we're gonna go to the right eight and then don't go up any, cause it's up zero. So it's gonna be right there, eight comma zero. It is on 
uh, move to the right eight and then up zero it is on the x axis right there okay so there it is point s eight zero let's try another one plot the point zero ten and label it point b okay so we're going to go to the right zero so don't go to the right at all and then just go up ten so this is going to be on the y axis way up there okay and we'll call that pot uh, point b b has the ordered pair zero ten okay you get the hang of this right here all right so find the distance between two points we can find the distance between two points when the points are on the same horizontal line or vertical vertical line right here. So uh, so here these two points are on the same vertical line. They're up on top of each other right here. So we're going to first draw a line segment to connect those guys, okay? And then we'll count the vertical distance between points A and B. Okay, so we just count. So from A to B, we will go up one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So they are, there are six units between them right there, and that would be the distance, six, okay? Um, uh, I don't know what happened there. So points A and B uh, form a vertical, oh, I remember now. Okay, we're just questions here. So uh, the A, sorry, A and B form a vertical line segment that have the same X coordinate. Can you see they have the same X coordinate? And in this case, they're nines. Remember, X is our first let, um, number right here. So how can we use subtraction to find the distance between these two points? Well, let's pretend like there was no picture, and we noticed, and they just gave us these coordinates, and we noticed they have the same x coordinates right here. Well, how would we use subtraction? We just do subtract 9 minus 3, and we'd get that 6 right there, okay? So we can subtract uh, the y coordinates to get 9 minus 3 or 6, and that's what we got uh, from counting. So when they have the same x coordinates, we can just subtract the y coordinates. All right, so now let's do the same thing except with these two points. Let's graph the points 3, 2, and 6, 2, and explain how we can use subtraction to find the distance, okay? So 3, 2, over to the right 3 up 2. This one's going to be over to the right 6, up 2. And we always start at the origin, okay? So over to the right 3, up 2, over to the right uh, 6, up 2. And how can we use subtraction? Well, this time they have the same x coordinate. I'm sorry, the same y coordinate. Whoops. So which is the 2's right here. So if they have the same y coordinates, we can subtract the x coordinates right here. Okay? So these have the same y coordinates, so we can subtract the x coordinates 6 minus 3. So this 6 minus 3 equals 3. You could also count when you... Um, uh, if you graph these points right here and count the distance, here's one, two, three. Um, but it asks us to uh, explain how we can find the distance using subtraction. So we would subtract this x, which equals six, minus this x, which equals three, and we get the distance to be three on that. All right, okay, that's a nice, easy lesson. Okay, take care, you guys.